Man, the Canucks rumors, bro, they're going this year. They're really going out there and giving us so much fodder to talk about that even with this video going over Sam Reinhart, a Buffalo Sabres guy who was second overall in 2014 and who is apparently involved in, maybe, Canucks trade talks, there still are more Canucks topics to talk about. I didn't even touch on the 10th anniversary of the riots, I mean, of the Stanley Cup final loss, and I don't plan to do that. You can catch me on the stream, I guess, later today for Montreal Vegas Game 2. If you want to talk to me about the riots and the anniversary of the Boston Bruins and Tim Thomas doing the Tim Thomas, but either way, there still are other things besides the riots and besides this Sam Reinhardt thing to talk about for Canucks news. So I think for Canucks fans, man, we have ourselves a whole bunch of stuff to go over spanning the next few days. But the big thing I wanted to highlight first and foremost is indeed Sam Reinhardt, because when it comes to Sam Sam Reinhardt, we had the news from Elliot Friedman a while ago that he wanted a trade. Now, that's not surprising. People want to get traded from Buffalo all the time. Just look at Jack Eichel. But Sam Reinhardt is in a pretty interesting position because not only does his contract expire, he was making $5.2 million until this season. He's got himself an RFA contract extension process he has to go through. He's 25 years old, 6 foot 1, 194 pounds from North Van. And he just wrapped up his best NHL season by far. 25 goals, 54 games played. That's his career high in goals in a significantly fewer amount of games played than he has had before. He had 40 points on the Buffalo Sabres this year. Sure, he had 65 points back in 2018-19, but that team was a lot better than this year's Buffalo Sabres team. This year's Buffalo Sabres team had nobody aside from Sam Reinhardt. Mind you, Jack Eichel only played like a fraction of the year this year. Sam Reinhardt led his team in points. He was first in goals by a mile. And this is a year where this guy, playing on a really bad, piss-poor team like the Sabres, had himself a time. Now, if the rumors are true and he wants a trade to a Western team, there are a few options to consider. We made a video talking about the different options, the LA's, the Anaheim's, the San Jose's, and of course the Vancouver's. But Vancouver has popped up a little bit more over the past few days, and it all started here with NHL Rumors Daily. Now, this isn't an official Twitter account or anything, but the guy who runs it, man, the guy who runs it is dialed in. I've mentioned this account before on the YouTube channel, but this is the Twitter account that broke the Tyler Toffoli to Vancouver news. He's got a whole bunch of sources that we don't even know who this guy is, but he says stuff that usually ends up happening. He had the entire outdoor lake game thing between the Bruins and whatever team it was this year before anybody else was even talking about it. Lake Tahoe, that's what it was. So the guy who runs the account is definitely a source that has insider information, and he posted this tweet the other day, I do think Sam Reinhardt gets moved. Not sure where, but the Vancouver Canucks are one of the teams that are interested. After this tweet was posted, it seemed like we had a huge slew of Sam Reinhardt trade Vancouver material popping up all of a sudden. Because immediately after, you had Elliot Friedman, later that day, going on to Sportsnet 650 and talking about how he does think there are a number of teams, including Vancouver, who have liked Sam Reinhart for some time. This is after that tweet was posted, by the way. The very first one. And the quote in this little thing here says that he thinks that Reinhardt wants to come to Western Canada. What are the chances that a ninth overall pick is going to beat that? Okay, that's a conversation for the next few minutes. Let's go over a few other things here first. Elliot Friedman also published the 31 Thoughts article yesterday, and in it he does say a very specific thing, that if one of Eichel or Reinhardt get moved, expect the Buffalo Sabres to have two top 10 picks. Here's what Lance Lakowski says. He's hearing the same thing as Elliot, that the Sabres are preparing for the possibility that they will own two picks in the top 10. And so now we go back to Vancouver, and we take a look at the assets they have. Okay, if the Sabres are expecting maybe another top 10 pick, and maybe the Vancouver Canucks are out there trying to get a Sam Reinhardt, hey, we have a potential fit. Sam Reinhardt for ninth overall? 
Okay, that's a conversation to have. So when it comes to the Canucks and the potential of acquiring a Reinhardt, we have to remember that this is indeed not our first rodeo. And I say are, I'm not a part of the team. You're not a part of the team, unless you are Mr. Jim Benning, who secretly watches my videos. But this is not the first rodeo for Vancouver and Jim Benning when it comes to Sam Reinhardt, because we remember back in the 2014 NHL draft, the overall consensus was that the Aquilinis may have wanted a local boy, which is why the Vancouver Canucks at 6th overall were trying so desperately to trade up to the first overall pick with the Florida Panthers to maybe take the North Van guy Sam Reinhardt first overall. Darren Dreger reported on the draft floor that year that the offer was apparently the 24th overall pick plus the 6th overall pick plus maybe Hunter Shinkarek who had been drafted in the previous year, something like that for the first overall pick for Sam Reinhardt. And apparently there was a whole bunch of drama because they couldn't get Reinhardt, but hey, they still wanted to take a local boy, which is why they went with Jake Furtan. And even though apparently word was around the time that the Canucks actually really wanted Dylan Larkin, yeah, shenanigans, right? It's not the first time they went out there and actually tried to do a move for Sam Reinhardt. And so now, you take a look at things seven years later. The Vancouver Canucks are out here in the face of trade proposals for a guy that is 25 years old and who is coming off of probably one of the best, most productive years of his career, especially considering the circumstances of the dogwater team he played for. Now, obviously, the catch is that he needs a contract. And what you're essentially doing is you're taking a look at all the good he did last year and saying, OK, time for a payday. Here's Cam Robinson, great human being over here, also the director of film scouting at Elite Prospects, talking about the Sam Reinhardt thing. A lot of talk around Sam Reinhardt and his value via trade and contractually moving forward. Here's the thing. This year, he posted career highs in goals per game, shot percentage, secondary assist rate, individual points percentage, as well as primary point individual point percentage. He also scored 10 more goals than expected. Kind of smells a little bit unsustainable. Which is a very fair concern to have, because this guy, as we said, this has been one of the best seasons of his career, if not the best. So is it enough to go out there and look at what he did in 2020, 2021, and saying, OK, we're going to pay you money that reflects this year's performance, because we want you to play at that same standard, and we think you can do that over the next few years. Jim Benning isn't really the best when it comes to giving contract extensions. That's my very humble opinion. You're very free to disagree. So, when it comes to the way a Reinhardt could play and the way a Reinhardt could produce on a Canucks squad, yes, he would be an addition to the top six. He probably would be a very good scoring threat alongside of all the names that you have. And if you want to say, all right, we're going to go out there, we're going to be a contender in two years, maybe a ninth overall pick for a guy like Kent Johnson who's just going to go back to Michigan and then spend another year developing afterwards, maybe it's better served trading that pick away for a player who can help you out today who is 25 years old. You just have to take a look at the fundamentals and the economic side of it because Jim Benning signing contracts is something that I don't really have too much faith in anymore. So, yeah. The arguments make sense as to why you would want to do this, and obviously the fact that Sam Reinhardt was a capable player makes him desirable. But if you're guaranteed to getting that same Sam Reinhardt the next three, four, five, six years, if you re-sign this contract, it's something you need to be sure about. And I just don't know if I'm confident enough to say that that Sam Reinhardt this year is going to be the Sam Reinhardt in the next few years and maybe even better because he's still 25. He's still got room to improve. It's just, would you be willing to give up a ninth overall pick and shell out the necessary money, assuming the Canucks sign Pedersen and Hughes and contracts and all that that they need to sign already before doing so? Also, for Sabres fans, hey, let me know in the comments what you think, because essentially, I don't know how comfortable I am trading a ninth overall pick for what is going to be a contract discussion to have with a player. If it's a sign and trade thing where you trade away the pick and you sign the guy immediately because you have a deal just verbally set out before you actually make the trade, okay, that's a different story. But if the Canucks can't even come to terms with something like this, I don't even know if I'd want to entertain the mere idea of making a trade. So for Sabres fans, if you're going out there and acquiring a ninth overall pick for what is essentially a contract negotiation, 
who do you want to take? Because I know a lot of Sabres fans would go out there and say, yeah, I'd do that. We don't know if we're going to keep Reinhardt anyway. Just get a first for him. Why not? Top 10 pick. Let's get ourselves Owen Power and whoever it is that's available at ninth overall that we can add to our prospect system and make us great in the next decade. Talk to me in the comments what you think. Sam Reinhart to Vancouver. Could you, should you, or would you do it? I hope you enjoyed this video. Trolls of the Nine. And bye.